Hi, I'm Walt. This is Ken. We're going to talk about indoor flea control. Now, we've been doing flea, helping people do fleas, and actually we've done quite a few flea jobs ourselves over 32 years or so, maybe 34 like years. Yep. And uh, we've seen a lot of different things come and go. And, and back in the day, a long time ago, before they had IGRs, which would start out with Precor, we just had insecticides. It was a little bit harder to treat then, wasn't it? It was. It made things a little more difficult. You had to treat more frequently. Um, you know, you know, we've kind of got a little easy now with some of the newer products that are out. And, but nevertheless, it doesn't make it easy. And it, I mean, it's people come in and they say, well, I sprayed. I, I did everything I did. And, and it, I still have fleas. Yeah. And, and I ask them a lot of times, this is a big thing. Do you have a pet in the house? No, we kick Freddy out, you know, because we got mad that the fleas are on. It's a flea bag, he's outside now. Well, that was probably the worst thing you could do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, now, Freddy was the food source, and now, yeah. now, now you're the food <laughs> yeah, source. They, they eat right. blood. I mean, that's all they eat is blood. And so if you no longer have a pet in the house, you could expect it's going to take a little bit longer. In other words, you could have two people with the same amount of fleas, one with pets and one without pets, and the one with the, uh, without pets is going to have a harder time almost every time. That's right, and if it doesn't take longer, it'll sure seem longer but yeah. because the fleas are biting them and not their oh, dog. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Now, the, the, the first thing to think about fleas, whether you have a dog or cat, most, most of them are cat fleas, right? right? I mean, doesn't make any difference. A yeah. flea's a flea. Uh, now, the fleas almost always lay the eggs on the animal. Just remember, they yep. always lay it on the animal. If your cat gets up on a shelf, it gets on the top of the furniture, eggs could be there. That's right. So those eggs don't stay on the pet. They fall off. So yeah, they're a, little bit, they're a little moist when they get laid on the animal. They stick for a while, and then wherever the animal goes, and they fall off. So those are the areas that you want to concentrate treatment. Right. You want to tell them a little bit about what we're using for fleas nowadays? Yeah, basically with fleas, there, there are two things you, you really need to have to deal with fleas effectively. You're going to need a growth regulator to break the cycle, and that's going to stop the egg and the larvae of the flea from developing. Mm -hmm. Precor was the first one to come down the line, and it's still out there, and it's still effective, um, and it's available in aerosol forms and concentrates. Um, there's a, a couple other ones. Pyroproxfen is one that's come out now that is uh, in Alpine Fleet Spray here. Uh, does kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, there's one called Teco Pro, which is a new one that's out that's got Pyroproxfen and a, another growth regulator in it that's a chitin inhibitor. It's a whole different mechanism, but um, without getting bogged down in the yeah. details. Yeah, some people now, some people will just do this as a preventative and they, they normally never get fleas. Right. You do, if you get fleas every year, Gosh, if you were just to spray this at the beginning of the year, a couple of times during the year, you probably won't get them. Exactly, exactly. But no one does that. Yeah, no one ever does that. Including me. So. Yeah, so what you usually end up having is a situation where the, the, the fleas are there. You've got to deal with them. Um, the first thing you need to know is this problem's not going away overnight. You know, that's a big call we get all the time. And uh, you need to know that this problem took a while to build up to where it is, and it's not going to go away. And, and the vacuum, that, that's the big thing. Everybody, whether you vacuum or, or sweep, the more you do that, the easier this gets to take, be taken care of. Absolutely. So the, one of the questions I always ask everybody when they call up, and the first thing I ask them is, uh, what's your floor surface that you're treating? Yeah. Is, are you dealing with carpet or is it hard flooring? Yeah, it used to be all carpet. I mean, everybody had carpet, wall to wall, and, and uh, now it's almost everybody's got hardwood or right. top. Or some combination of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing we found is that uh, the liquid concentrates that we used to use on carpet um, aren't quite as effective on hard flooring. That's where they we make a mess got, too. Yeah, yeah exactly. They're, they puddle up. And so uh, using aerosol products like the, this Precor 2625 right here or the Alpine flea spray. We're really fond of both of these products. Um, these will contain a mixture that's got the growth regulator in it that we talked about and an adult flea killer to kill off the adult fleas. And um, basically, a lot of people will call and ask, um, if I've killed the eggs and the adults, how come I still have fleas popping open? So that cycle is a complete metamorphosis without getting too detailed. It, if you don't vacuum up and remove the, the pupae 
uh, the cocoon, a lot of people call them, they, they're going to hatch out. None of this works on that. The vacuum will do that. So, so you have a delayed. It could take two, three, four weeks before you knock it out. And you might have to spray the insecticide multiple times to, to get it under right. control. I know the Alpine label here recommends about like every 14 days, mm -hmm. spraying that until they're gone. And most people find that they'll get rid of their, their problem uh, you know, with a, a combination of an adulticide and a growth regulator in two to three applications. So that's, a, that's about normal, so that's what you can kind of expect. Do you want to tell the, the folks about the, the liquid treatments? I mean, basically the same thing, it's just in liquid form. Right, you're just mixing this and you'll mix this in a pump-up sprayer. You're going to take the pre-core growth regulator along with an adulticide, and there's several of them that we can uh, show you. That they're all going to do the same thing, basically. They're mm -hmm. killing the adult fleas, uh, the pre-core stopping the egg and larvae from developing and then your follow-up spray is going to kill what hatches out of the cocoon. I would like to just mention one surface that we really have a hard time with and, and that's the concrete. Yeah. And we really don't have a great answer other than you know take a spray and vacuum if it's a garage blow it out with a blower a, a basement same thing and just spray and have patience i mean it will work it just seems like a, a seems like it breaks way. down a little faster on concrete so you have to spray a little more frequently but uh you know uh, i've found over these these thin formulations they call ecs uh they're very thin and they tend to absorb into concrete concrete is really porous so we don't get as good results using this as we do something with this milky white appearance to it. Uh, this is Finvastar EcoCap here and uh, this is encapsulated if you look at it yeah. under a microscope it looks like little gelatin capsules. It might stay on top of the surface. Right and it stays make... up there it doesn't absorb as much so those will, uh, those will make uh, your life a little easier I think on concrete if you're using those. Alright Ken we've rambled on enough about <laughs> indoor <laughs> yeah. flea control. Yeah. Uh, make sure you check our outdoor flea control uh, program. We won't talk so much. Just a little bit easier to do. <laughs> We're also going to uh, check out our video on, 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 on the material to put on pets. Thank you very much. Have a good day.